Good morning, everyone. So, don't you want the chair, Pete? So we're gonna varnish the mast. We gotta measure for the radar, where the mounts are on the radar, and make sure that the new one is gonna fit the pattern of the old one, which it probably yeah, won't. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> He's got no fear. I'm so afraid of heights. I'm so afraid of heights. I'm wearing my Moo Moo. This is my Moo Moo. I like my Moo Moo. I should hoist this up with them, but I think it's gonna be too much, guys. I think it'd be way too much to hoist this up with Pete. Pete's got enough going on. Whew. Maybe once he gets in his bosun's chair and he'll be on this kind of area where the square sail kind of ends down, might be a good no Okay. Um, now to see if the bolt pattern lines up. Okay. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. That's, that never happens. That's like, ah. I'm gonna stand for a minute and then we're gonna need a wrench, an adjustable wrench and a, and a wire cutter. Okay. And a bag. Okay, I'll start I'm gathering. Also, I'm also, after I stay in this area, uh -huh. I'm probably gonna varnish that in between here and here. Okay. And then just go down a little bit. All right, I'll start gathering some things together, brushes and all that. Adjustable. I'm gonna go around and check all our cotter pins, make sure all our cotter pins are in. I know we were missing some up forward here. So, there's some missing in our bow spread I gotta put in. And uh, that's important. <laughs> I have to stop what I'm doing because Pete's, you know, kind of up in the rig, so make sure he's okay. Working on the, these are what runs the jib lines through. And the ones that were on there before didn't, it'd be nice if they would just stand up, you know, like had a little spring and they'd stand up. Um, I don't really have any of those springs that hold the blocks up, so I uh, improvised by tying a line, and voila, that'll hold it up. <laughs> um. Sanding and varnishing away. We were trying to start the varnish of the mast early because we start getting waves from boats going by. Cleaned up the single sideband wire. Got that all pretty cleaned up and nicer looking because it was pretty sloppy looking. So that's way better. And Pete is varnishing away right now second coat and then uh, the next day probably climb up there and make sure we got all the cotter pins and everything in and mount the radar 
and our e plurp or whatever this is called the blipper those are good for boats seeing us so piece of line right there. There's a line right there. What do you cut it with? Scissors. They're downstairs in the scissor bucket. There's, oh, there is stuff. I thought that was it. Um, right in that. Right there. Yeah. 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 There, that's cool. Sweet. Did you make it? You made it. That's awesome. It's a guitar capo. You turned into a banjo capo. Liam on the upside down banjo. <laughs> We are using Lee tokens, and the nice thing about the Lee tokens is you don't have to sand in between coats, which helps a lot, especially for varnishing a mast. Having to go up there and sand every time would be um, way too much. We got the single block with a Beckett, and then the other one next to it, with the other baggy wrinkles, needs a block as well. So I gotta go get another block in order to finish that project. Sing it again, Liam! So good. So the hoses. I think came out, I don't remember if they came out on the inside or the outside. I think they came on the inside because they were worried about them coming on the outside. Made a little box, a sound down box, because it's kind of a noisy little pump and a little bit distracting when you're offshore. You bring the... What you need? I couldn't get that out either. I need to pry out the screw. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Down to the bottom.
box. We actually, uh, that's the box I showed you at Pete's shop. And it's insulated. Hopefully it won't be too noisy. It was pretty noisy when we were offshore. But that's the hydraulic pump for the autopilot. And now we're doing the ram, which Pete might be having a little trouble with because it, um, it leaks oil. So you have to be really careful to uh, keep it from leaking. On to the tiller. So there is a little piece back there on the tiller. That metal piece right there. Hidden. There's a metal piece with like a bolt and then that hydraulic ram hooks to that and that's how we do our autopilot. Um, it's actually a Simrad autopilot. We make it go port or starboard. We set a compass course and it kind of just goes in a straight line. Um, so you kind of have to keep an eye on it but at least it steers for you which is nice. It's good because it's uh, you know it's hydraulic so it doesn't use a lot of energy to run it. It's pretty much just pushing fluid. Um, so it's real low energy uh, autopilot. And being that it's a tiller, you know, tiller steering is always kind of hard to figure out. So that's why we, we went with a, a hydraulic autopilot. It's the best route really to go. And uh, when we were going to cross, when we crossed the Atlantic, we definitely needed something that was going to be substantial enough, especially for a boat this size. So, not that Norna's a big boat, but she's heavy and... Really? Yeah? Give me the, that red bag I carried up here. Okay. You can untie the tiller. Block of wood. This drill bit's a little too small, I got sand. Yeah. And I don't want to mess up these threads, so I need like that block of wood from up, up there that they would hold the hatch open with. have some really nice bamboo so they were cutting some of them down and they said we're welcome to take a few that were next to their house so we grabbed a few of them hopefully we didn't take too many but they're right there so if Look, we did we'll ask them. Have... you sign yeah Dude. this is another Concordia y'all we actually uh, showed the interior of it um, not that long ago. Yeah, back aboard Norna. Some friends and Ava's friends who came out to the boat and played some music and just kind of enjoyed the day. So um, just wanted to get a little bit of that uh, because Liam, he's a great banjo player and I definitely wanted to get him on film. Enjoy the rest of our night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 